We're now going to do some modifications to our road design. If you don't already have the MTF panel open, so if you've closed it down previously, you can open it up either by going to Design, MTF, Edit and selecting it, or alternatively you can click on the Edit Data in your Recalc panel and then pick any of your sections or strings from any of your views and accept it. This will bring the MTF file back open. The first modification we're going to do will be to widen the left lip of curve as we go around IP number 3 and we can see that in the perspective view here just to widen it out to give us more of a view around the, the uh, curve. So we go to modifiers left side once again we always insert a comment so double click in the first cell of line 3 select comment and the comment will be widen left lip and press enter the modification that we're doing we're modifying once again the fixed part of the template so we walk right on fixed and we select width our link name we never just type in a link name we always select it from the from a view so if we just maximize our design view and zoom in we want to modify the left side of the road so the roads coming down this way and we want to modify the left lip so we middle button inside the link name and then pick and accept our left lip of curb string from our plan view. Our start mode, once again we're going to select to type and our start change, we just zoom out and zoom in on curb number 3 and the best view to look at it in will be the alignment view. We want to start at the start of our spiral and widen out to it by 3 meters to the end of our spiral here and then we'll maintain that same width of 3 meters around the curve and then we'll taper it back in. So we just want to pick on our tangent point, making sure that we have the diamond and accept it. Our end mode will be typed and the end will be the end of the spiral and accept that. We'll set our interval to 2 meters. You'll notice that at the moment we only have a, uh, cross sections every 10 meters. By setting the interval to 2 meters in this area it will create a section every 2 meters. Our start width, we're going to make this uh, relative to the width of the pavement at the moment so we'll turn off the absolute and set our start width to 0 and our end width to 3 meters and click on OK. We now want to copy this entire modifier down so we highlight it, right click and hit copy. We then insert a new line below it. Once again right click and paste it. We then want to copy this modifier again so right click copy, right click paste. So this will be the start of our taper, this will be maintain the width and this will be tapering back in. So we can double click on line number 5, change our start change to be the start of our curve here and the end change will be the end of the curve and our interval will stay at 2, our start width this time will change to 3 and our end width will be 3. We click on OK. For line number 6, our start change is going to be the end of the curve or the start of the spiral and the end change will be the end of the spiral. This time our start width is going to be 3 and our end width will be 0. We can click on OK. It's now a good idea to click OK inside the left template modifier panel and rather than rerunning the function we can just click on recalc inside our MTF editor. You'll see that it brings up a new cut and fill values. We click on OK 
and if we looked at it inside our design view we would see that the road now starting from the um, spiral starts to widen out when it gets to the curve it maintains a width of 3 meters when it gets back to the spiral it then starts to taper back in we can restore this view down now and open up our perspective view and just go for a drive and you can see as we approach the curve it starts to widen out once we get halfway around it maintains 3 meters and then it tapers back in finish on that if we restore this view and have a look at it in a crocs section view now if I profile any one of my strings inside the spiral you can see that our width here is now 5.031 and that's because we're halfway through the transition as I move along you'll note that the width gets wider until we get to a width of 6.5 meters which is the 3.5 standard width plus the additional 3 meters and maintains that width all the way around the curve if we go back into our alignment view now we're also going to create super elevation around this curve so inside our MTF editor open up the left side modifier once again first thing always create a comment and the comment will be super elevation and again we are modifying the fixed part of our template and on this occasion we are modifying the crossfall on this occasion we are modifying the left lip of curve again so we can middle button inside the link name go into our design view and select the left lip of curve go back into our alignment view our start mode is typed and we're going to start from the start of the spiral again but on this occasion because we're modifying from minus 3% which is the standard template down to minus 6% and we want them both to reach 6% at the start of the curve then we want to add 40 meters this is an 80 meter um, spiral so we want to add 40 meters onto our chainage so we can just type that in plus 40 and hit enter our end mode typed and it will be at the curve start of the curve our interval we don't need to worry about because we've already set it to 2 meters from the last modifier our starting crossfall will be minus 3% and our ending crossfall will be minus 6% on this occasion it's an absolute modifier so we don't want to add 3 and 6% onto the existing crossfalls so we must make sure absolute is ticked on and we can click on OK we now want to copy this modifier down so we right click copy add in two new lines right click paste we then have to copy that again and paste and as we did with the previous widening we double click on it and we're going to change our start and the end values so this time we'll start at the start of the curve end at the end of the curve and you'll notice on this occasion I don't have a diamond I've actually picked the string so I need to be careful to make sure I get the diamond and accept that our start cross ball as we go around the curve will maintain minus six percent click on OK and our final one we're going to start at the end of the curve and we'll finish at the end of our spiral and on this occasion we want to come back 40 meters so we've got minus 
40. Hit enter. Our starting crossfall is minus 6 and our ending crossfall will be minus 3. Click on OK. We're now going to copy this over to the right side of the modifiers and then modify that panel. So we highlight from row 7 down to row 10, right click copy, we can then click OK on this panel, go to modifiers right side and inside line number 3 we just right click and paste. Once again we need to modify these panels so we open up the first one. On this occasion our starting change needs to be from the start of the IP minus 40 meters. Now because we've already added 80, 40 meters onto it we can just simply subtract 80. So minus 80, enter. Our start and end crossfall will go from minus 3 up to positive 6 and we click on OK. The second one our start and end change is OK, but we're maintaining a crossfall of positive 6. OK, and our final one, we're going from a start change, which is the end of the curve, through to 40 metres past the end of the spiral. So we need to add 80 metres onto that. And we're going from a starting crossfall of positive 6 to an ending crossfall of minus 3. OK. We can then click OK on the, the right template modifier panel and click Recalc inside our MTF editor. You'll note that when we recalc that uh, the road design we got 162 errors. If we have a look in the output window it says crossfall left lip of curve or lip of curve left name does not exist and this is in the right side modifiers and obviously the reason for this is that name belongs on the right hand side. So if we go back into our modifiers on the right side, open this panel back up again, we want to change our name from left lip of curve, we want to open it up, delete this one and we want to select from our design view, we're going to modify the edge of bitumen on the right and we're also going to modify the edge of shoulder on the right. So we're going to do two modifiers at once so that we maintain the crossfall all the way through to the shoulder and not just to the edge of seal. So we can then copy them and add them into our other modifiers. Click on OK, click on OK, click Recalc and on this occasion we have no warnings. The last modifier that we want to add in will be a to add in a bus bay down along this area here and we're just going to read that bus bay in. So if we go to file IO data input it's a 12D ASCII file and you will have to browse up one level to find it and it's called bus bay 12DA. We can just read that in. Just turn it on inside your alignment view is probably best. Alignment bus bay. So here's our bus bay. So this is on the right side of the road. So we go to modifiers right side. As always, first thing we do, insert a comment. We'll just call it bus bay. And we want to do a fixed and in this occasion we're doing a fixed width but we're going to a string. So width to string. So we're going to match the width of this string. So the link name, middle mouse button, inside our design view we select the edge of bitumen on the right hand side and accept it. Our start mode, rather than using typed all the time, on this occasion we're going to use start of other string and we'll pick on our bus bay
and our end mode will be the end of another string and once again we'll pick on the bus bay. Our interval, we can set that to 2 meters. We're asked to select the string and on this occasion it's the same string that we've been widening to so we can just pick the bus bay again and we're searching on the right hand side so it's on the right hand side of our alignment string. We can click on OK. We can then save the right template modifier panel by clicking OK and then recalc the whole design inside our MTF editor. If I now have a look at my design, zoom out, you can see our bus bay has been added. We can't really see the crossfall that's been added through here until we have a look at a cross section and profile one of those strings. And now you can see we go from minus 6% and as we're halfway around the curve we're at positive 6%. Our width is 6.5 meters as we looked at before. If we were to profile one of our cross sections through where our bus bay is, you will notice that even though the width of the pavement widened out to 7.5 metres in this spot, it maintained the same grade of minus 3%.